Good morning, good morning, good morning to everybody. I pray that you all had a sweet sleep in Jesus Christ all last night. Welcome to Commanding Your Morning, Day 168. I pray that you're here to give God your first fruit, to find out what your kingdom assignment is, and to find out what our nugget is in Jesus Christ on today, in Jesus' name, okay? Our thought for today is give freedom not manipulation give freedom not manipulation be gracious with your lives be opening by opening up to others your prompt people to open up with God this generous father in heaven our scripture for today is Matthew 5, 16. Make sure you're writing that down, guys. That's Matthew 5 and 16. So, lo so let's go into the word of God on this morning. Glory to your name, God. Matthew 5 and 16 says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your God, your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one title shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Glory to your name. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Thank you, Jesus. For I say unto you that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. Glory to your name, God. Father God, I thank you. Guys, God loved us so much that he made the blueprint so evidently, you know, just evident, just so plain, I, if I can say that. I'm trying to find a word to say. He made it so plain for us through the word of God, for the way he wanted us to live, He want, the way he wanted us to react to talk, to hallelujah, take things, to be able, the things that we are, will go through in life, things that may come up against us that may be very, very hard for us or stressful. It could be um, something that's really, really, you know, hard for you to swallow. But the word of God, God has the word to tackle every, situ every situation in our life. And I'm so grateful. I am so honored and I'm so, oh God, thank you Jesus for the word of God. And it's, it's hard at times, yes it is, but it can be harder if we didn't have God in his word. This is what I want you to understand. At least you will know how to get through this thing with some peace with some peace of mind, with some freeness, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, and some clarity, and some guidance, and some strength, and some comfort, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, thank God for his word, thank him for loving us so much, and caring that we make it, hallelujah, glory to your name, let's go on in further into commanding our morning, hallelujah, give freedom, not manipulation. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Give freedom, not manipulation. As we pray for others, 
and speak out God's word over our atmospheres. We need to remember that just as God respects the judiciary, the jurisdiction, excuse me, each of us has over our own lives and chooses, we must have the same respect for those we are praying for. We should be praying that God opens their eyes so that they can see the truth and make the right choices for themselves just as God does for each of us who call on his name. Not that God will make those we are praying for do this or that. After all Jesus has already done everything, he needs to do, he needs to do to see that a person is saved but he left it to each of us to decide on our own to accept his free gift of salvation or not. If his great love, he will, in his great love, excuse me, he will not even force heaven upon any of us. Glory to your name, God. Guys, I don't know if y'all remember in one of the segments I was saying, this is, God gives us, hallelujah, free will. He gives us free will. He allow salvation in him is free. It's not manipulation. He's not going to manipulate you to be saved. He's not going to manipulate you to serve him. You have to freely give yourself to him. You have to freely accept his will. You have to freely accept his statutes. You have to freely accept his commandments. You have to freely accept his word. You have to freely accept his love in the name of Jesus. He's not going to force it on us, guys. It's a decision that we make. You remember I said this before, everywhere, in every person in the world, I don't care where they at, in the position they're in, it came from a decision many times over it may not happen overnight but after you know decision after decision after decision it brought us to that place that we're in in our life things we allow things we decided to do god ain't gonna make us do anything but he give us free will he give us see how much he love you he give you enough room and rope to just see if you're gonna make the right decision on your own Make the right decision on your own. Call upon him because without him, we are nothing. We are merely dust of this earth. Do you hear me? We need God to make it. And I think someone that realizes that is very, very gifted and, and smart. Hallelujah and blessed. Because if we don't know that we need God, we in trouble. If we don't know we can't make it without God, we in trouble. If we know we cannot make it without his love, his strength, and his word, we in trouble. Glory to your name, God. But God gives us freedom to come in him, not to be uh, manipulated, deceived, or, or tricked into coming in him. No, he is free. Thank you, Jesus. And we should tru truly, freely choose to serve him. Hallelujah. Because he, he freely chooses to love us and to protect us and to keep us and to honor us and to guide us in the name of Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Guys, we'll go ahead on. I know we got things to do today. Let's go ahead and pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Just remember the thought for today. Give freedom, not manipulation. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come against all forms of manipulation today. 
I cancel the assignment of those who would seek to manipulate me into following their will over yours. And I repent from any times I have tried to force my will on others. I commit my plans to you and I put my desires in, in your, hallelujah, capable hands. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory to your name, God. See, guys, we got to just serve, serve God freely. Give them to, you know, give word or wisdom or knowledge to somebody else freely. We can't manipulate them to believe it. We can't manipulate them to believe in God. We can't manipulate them to believe in the word. They got to want it and do it for themselves. In the name of Jesus, we put it out there, sow it, let God do the rest. Because that's all we can do is sow the seed. Hallelujah, glory. We can't make anybody do anything. Stop getting mad. Stop arguing over the word. Stop fussing with people about the word. The word is true and true all by itself. Give them the meat of the word. Hallelujah. Give them the meat of the opinion if they ask him for it. In the name of Jesus, let them know what the truth is. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. And they take it as they will. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. I'm not going to fuss with them. I'm not going to push it on them. I'm not going to argue with them. In the name of Jesus, I'm going to speak the unadulterated word of God. And I'm going to let it be. In the name of Jesus, that's all I can do. Glory to your name. And I pray. In the name of Jesus, that God will help them see and know, hallelujah, the truth. Hallelujah, that they will choose the truth over the lie. That they will choose to serve God over the devil. That they will choose to make the right decision over the wrong decision. In the mighty name of Jesus, glory to your name, God. And I believe God to just go in and do what he do. In Jesus' name, you all have a blessed day. No, God love you. No, I love you. Until our next appointment, God bless you. Hallelujah. I, I pray traveling mercies upon you. In the name of Jesus, I speak favor on your jobs on today. I speak promotion. I speak hallelujah truth in your life today. I speak that you growing closer and closer and more and more in depth in God in the name of Jesus and that you're reading the word more hallelujah and that you're worshiping more and you're praising more in the mighty name of Jesus until our next meeting guys God bless you